Alexander Zverev just received a 450,000 euro court penalty from a German court. We're explaining the abuse charge, what the penalty means, and where Zverev goes from here. Plus, we've reached the midweek point in Paris and Cancun. We're breaking down all of the Wednesday action. The break starts right now. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Guy. You are watching The Break. Just this morning, Alexander Zverev defeated Hugo Umber at the Paris Masters to advance to the last 16. His performance this week has brought him up to number seven in the world in the live rankings, putting him in a good position to earn a spot at the 2023 year-end finals. Despite the on-court success, Zverev finds himself in a huge off-court battle. On Tuesday, The Guardian broke the news that a court in Germany issued a penalty order for bodily harm against ex-girlfriend Brenda Patea, with fines totaling 450,000 euros, or roughly 475,000 US dollars. The charges stem from an incident that allegedly occurred in Berlin in May 2020 that resulted in Zverev physically abusing Patea and damaging her health. These charges, by the way, are separate from the domestic abuse claims made against Zverev in November 2020. That involves Zverev's ex-girlfriend Olya Sharapova, where she accused Zverev of repeated physical and emotional abuse. An independent investigation led by the ATP resulted in no disciplinary action. This time, however, abuse claims made by Brenda Patea led to a charge or a penalty order. So what does that mean? Well, in Germany, when a court finds that there is sufficient evidence in favor of the accusation, a trial is deemed unnecessary and a penalty order is issued. The defendant, in this case Alexander Zverev, has the right to contest the order, which would lead to a public trial. Zverev did, in fact, contest the order, which means a public trial will be scheduled. Brenda Patea has joined the Berlin public prosecutor as a co-plaintiff. Now, Alexander denies the claims and maintains his innocence. His lawyers said they had expert medical evidence that would support Zverev's case. They also issued a statement saying, the procedure is scandalous. There can be no question of a fair constitutional procedure. Mr. Zverev will take action against this using all means possible. We're into the last 16 at the Rolex Paris Masters and well into the group stages at the WTA Finals. Let's get you caught up. Earlier today, Novak Djokovic notched a win over Thomas Echeverry to advance to the round of 16. He'll face Talon Grigspor next. Grigor Dimitrov got a win over Medvedev in the match of the day, taking it in a third set tiebreak. And Stefano Tsitsipas keeps his ATP Finals hopes alive with a win over Felix Auger Aliassime. Now moving over to Cancun, the group stages roll on as Iga Swiatek will face Coco Gauff at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. These two played just weeks ago in China, Swiatek winning in straight sets. We'll see if Coco can get a second win over Iga in their 10th career clash today. After that, it's a rematch of the Wimbledon final. Ange Jabeur and Marketa Vondrosova will face each other for the eighth time. Vondrosova leads their head-to-head 4-3 and has won their last three meetings. Live coverage of the Rolex Paris Masters begins daily at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and live coverage of the 2023 WTA Finals begins daily at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll see you tomorrow.